I love skateboarding, but I can't kick push. So I built an electric skateboard, and this is how it went. As far back as I can remember, I knew if I trained hard enough and got back up, every time I fell, I could become the best skater in the world. As I grew older, so did my confidence. But still, I just couldn't figure out I want God. how to make it move. I got a little older, but still, I just couldn't master the kick push. Then, I got really old. And I still couldn't do it. So I started training at night so people couldn't laugh at me. They'd call me Mongo and say I was too uncoordinated, but I wouldn't listen to them. And I just kept training. Then I got ridiculously old and decided maybe I'll just make an electric one. So I went online to find a cheap kit. I found this dual hub motor kit, it comes with front trucks speed controller and a remote. Then I went to cheap skates, got a really big deck, a bit of grip tape and some hardware. Now we just need to add batteries. No, no, I think you need batteries. See, there's lots of different types of batteries. Lithium ion cobalt, lithium ion polymer, nickel cadmium, solid lead acid. Whatever, just grip the deck. Oh yeah. So uh, the grip tape wasn't long enough to do the whole ward, so I had to go and cut a little bit in the middle, but it's pretty cool because it left the creature sign there, and now I'm deciding I'm gonna call it the creature. So that's pretty cool. I uh, never really gripped a board before, but uh, I watched some videos on it, and they said, um, score around the edges with the screwdriver or something, they cut it with the, with the knife, so I did that, and it came out, I just cut the crap. So it's mount the mount the trucks and and the uh, and and the risers. So I got some risers for it too because they're massive wheels. So I'm a little bit worried they're gonna get a bit wheel bite, you know. But we'll, we'll see how it go. You got the kick tail there, so we could we could always kick turn. Maybe we don't fly off the back. We'll see. Now that I got my trucks mounted and my dick gripped. I'm just gonna go over all the screws and make sure they're tight from the factory. If my wheels fall off while I'm riding, it could really hurt, so tight in my hardware. Sales I decided to use a P42As, but four's not really gonna be enough, so let's go harvest some more. Here in the hidden jungles of New Zealand, the local villagers have established an extensive network of battery farms. These lithium ferns can be harvested here round. Often discarded, these smaller 18650 cells are inferior to their larger cousin, the 21700, whom are quickly claiming their territory. These primitive farmers have limited knowledge within their own industry and often fail to recognize the volatile nature of the chemical compounds grown within their own homesteads. However, if we can collect enough of these, we should be able to power our skateboard. Okay, so it's got some fish paper here and I'm wrapping my cells. Now we ended up with 10 cells, so we're gonna put them into a 10S1P configuration at 3.6 volts per cell. It'll be a 36 volt nominal battery and uh, we're 4.2 amp hours, so one P configuration should give us uh, 4,200 milliamp hours of runtime. Now I tried to use a 0.2 mil by 15 mil nickel strip, but I couldn't get it to stick with the Sanko 709 welder. So uh, we've gone with a 0.15 by 15 mil nickel strip which should be ample for our 30 amp BMS, but we're gonna double it up just to be safe. Speaking of safety, be sure to always round off the edges of your nickel strip and uh, use your fish paper 
for the O-rings as well, just to minimize the chance of any shorting between the cells. Okay, so we're looking about done here. We'll just check the voltage if it's close to 36, 35.8, so that's pretty close. Let's measure it up and uh, build our battery box. Now, skateboards need to be tough, so plastic battery box just isn't gonna cut it. We're gonna go with this sheet of uh, three mil thick aluminum, aluminum, So, I'm definitely not confident in saying this material. And, uh, well, I'm not gonna work on it. So, we'll outsource it, take it to a pro. He's, uh, he's just down the road, so we'll skate down. Let's go. <laughs> Buster! Help! What's that? Are you talking to me? This better be good if you're gonna wake me up, mate. Oh, bollocks. Are you alright, mate? Are I'm you so alright, me old mate? Are you alright, me two legged, follically challenged friend? Are you okay? You want me to lick your face? Huh? I lick my face. Not the face. What are you doing out here anyway, mate? Is that, is that your skateboard? Mate, if you want to go somewhere, why don't you just ask me? Just hold still. Can you take me out to Louders? Do you know the way? Yeah, mate. You know the yeah. way to Louders, boy? Of course, mate. I know the way. Just chuck this away. Yeah, just hook me up, mate. Come on, mate. Hook me up. Come on, mate. Come on. Okay, get me on, on there, mate. Let me just hook get your house on. Just calm down. Hold oh, still. Right, right, right. Hit on. <laughs> get out of it. Get out of it. Sorry, sorry. Just go. <laughs> just go. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Get back excited, mate. Get back excited. You know how it is, mate. You know how it is. Mate, Follow me, mate. Follow down, me. Mate. Let's go faster now. Come on, mate. Faster Slow now. Slow down. Oh, computer says no. Turbo fuster's on. Full pace. Let's go. Is it in section ahead? She's alright, mate. Look, look, right. clear left, clear right. Let's oh go. God. Hey, come on, sidewalk. Alright, calm down. We're off, mate. We're off. We off to the park to boot the old footy where I might see me old mate back again. No, nah, we don't have time for that. We're gonna build this electric skateboard, mate. We're going to allow us to drop this battery box off. Won't be but a minute, mum. Quick and Boris Johnson on his honeymoon. Scout's on it. Alright, fine. Quick couple kicks, but no dramas, alright? What you want about the dramas, mate? I get along with everyone. Yeah, all right. Just slow down for this corner up here, right? Now we making good time, Cup. Keep up this pace, eh? Might be able to stop in at the beach. No, definitely not the beach. You do this every time. Um, no, that... sorry, boss. Sorry, boss. Get a bit carried away. You know how it is. You know how it is. Off to the park, mate. Off to the park. Let's go. Let's go. Follow me. Follow me. Let's Oi. go. Hey, corner. Slow down. Oi. It's all right, mate. It's all right. Lean into it, mate. We coming through. Here you go. See, you made it. You're all right. Oh mate. my God, just barely. Right. Oh, come, don't come in too hot. Who wants just to play? Calm down. Who wants to play? Hey, mate. What are you up to? Come on over for. Hey, oh, oh. step off, step off, son. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh, come back, son. Oh, I'm ya. What was that? A labrador? A typoallergenics for you? I can't believe that. Hey, I'm on a harness, you melt. Huh? I'm chained up. Hey, come, come down for a bit of a play. <laughs> Just calm down, right? Just go drop the stuff off of the battery box. Oh. Get out of here. Okay, so while we're waiting for our battery box to get made, we're just gonna pre-tin our BMS and, and all of our wires as well. So, I'm using an XT60 because that's what came with the speed controller. And uh, I've, I've pre-mounted the XT60. I, I find it, uh, I feel it's a little bit safer. Um, mounting it after uh, you have it connected to the battery, obviously the wires are live, so uh, they're, they're a lot more dangerous than not live wires, generally speaking. So, um, and I, f I find it quite hard to mount. I, I find it hard to mount an XC90. I mean, <laughs> XC90s are hard, right? But uh, XC60s, well, they're even smaller, so uh, pretty hard to mount. And we're, we're using a, a 12 gauge wire, so uh, it's, it's, probably, it's about the biggest you can, you can you can fit in there. Mounting our BMS wires, I like to do all the odds first, and then all the all the evens second, or, or vice versa. So uh, I'm not flipping the battery over multiple times. 
So I'll go two, four, six, eight, ten, followed by one, three, five, seven, and nine. We got a plastic substrate here. We just go to the bottom edge, just fold it up the sides. And we're using a little more fish paper just for uh, the insulation around the edges. And uh, we'll hot glue down the BMS up to the front. And, uh, and we'll coil up all our wires on the top there and hot glue them get them nice and tight. We've, we've measured our battery box quite tight, so hopefully everything fits in there. We're going to have to be... Uh, very conservative with our space. And uh, once we got that all down, just get one more layer of fish paper on there. I, I do love my fish paper. And uh, with all that tape, we, uh, we probably shouldn't need any shrink wrap. And I, I, I think you'll find that uh, shrink wrap probably not going to fit on this one anyway. So, no, no, shrink wrap won't fit. Sorry to interrupt. I thought you guys might be worried about Buster after that savage fight. But you're right, eh, Buster? You're right, Mike. So we got our, our battery box back. Just in the final stages here. Threading through the wires and uh, I've used a, a rubber membrane for roofing. It's called TPO. It's 1.5 mil thick fiber reinforced rubber membrane. And uh, it's just gonna stop any vibrations and now with a little bit of insulation. Now I've mounted the charging port on the right hand side and the power button on the left now that's easy of access for me because I'm goofy foot so I just have to reach down and grab it I mounted at one motor and, and just test it because if, if you mount up one and then if you mount the both and, and then and then you install everything and finish and go to ride it and, and it goes backwards you be pretty upset so uh, just check that before you hook them up make sure you got it the right way and uh Look at the batteries mounted forward, so I want to have weight forward, hopefully offset the weight of the motors uh, for uh, when we're riding. I, I know it's still going to have a rear set of gravity, but, um, you know, you, you do what you can to uh, to try and make it work. So, so yeah, we, we mounted the battery at the front. Well, a, a, as far front as, as we as we, we didn't, we didn't want it on the nose. But, uh, so, yeah, we'll just uh, flip it over and... Um, and we'll, we'll start mounting the screws in and uh, screw them all, all, all up. So uh, it's, it's a bit slow. We'll just speed it up here for you. Get it going. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much ready to ride it. This, uh, so I'll, I'll a couple more screws. Uh, nails or I'm not sure. Uh, I usually use a drill for screws, but you can use a hammer if you like. <laughs> so nice to be done. Let's take it for a rip and see how she rides. So quiet. Oh, but can it, Ollie? Oh, yeah. No. Purpose. Accessibility. I want to be able to ollie up a curb or off a small stair set. If I uh, come up to it, and I don't like to interrupt the flow of my ride. If I come up to an obstacle, I don't want to have to get off my board and pick it up. So I'll do some tests. And See if it'll break all in the stairs. Try a couple of two steps. And then uh, I think we'll take it to the park. Do you say the park, mate? Yeah, skate park. So, uh, so far this hasn't made me the best skater in the world. But maybe you should subscribe because with a bit of practice, who knows what the future may bring. No, I'm just kidding. I'm really just going to get worse as I get older and brittle. But I'll definitely make some more cool toys. Acceleration test, top speed test. There you can go. 
tweak. Not gonna lie to you. It's struggling. 30k is at uh, 180 meters. And uh, top speed of a whopping 33 kilometers per hour at 270 meters. But it's got a little dick there in the back of your car. Just for emergencies. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.